The City Girls rap duo, consisting of Young Miami and JT, is looking to turn a new leaf in 2024. Young Miami had a great year from a business standpoint with her award-winning podcast. But, on the music side of things, production was lacking. Their album Raw was a flop sales-wise, as fans and critics clearly were not too intrigued with what they were doing. But, things seemed to be on the up and up for JT and Young Miami individually. Lil Uzi Vert's boo dropped a solid banger, sideways, this past weekend. For Miami, she has a new era she wants to usher in. She first hinted at this back in January in a vague tweet. She wrote, Welcome to the Yams era, I'm so excited for this era of my life we about to have some fun. To this day, fans still are not sure what this all means. If you search the web for what Yams is there are a couple of explanations. One of which is a way to pronounce Miami, Miami. Not surprisingly, the Urban Dictionary also has some unique definitions of it. Young Miami is hungrier than ever before. Overall though, it seems Young Miami is really embracing where she is from and is going to bring that into whatever she does. A month later after hinting at this new approach, she posted a Yams trailer on her Instagram. In the video, she is talking to whoever is recording her about making a comeback with shots of her in the studio making new music. A sneak peek of a ginger hairstyle also seems to be her next look as she states it in the visuals as well. Miami captioned the post, saying, Welcome to the YAMs era. The Yams era is my prime time. In the Yams we do ginger hair, focus on ourselves, and get money. Yams is the new lingo. To my fans, the YAMS, this is the new us. Drop a roasted sweet potato if you're ready. JT, Saweetie, and others flooded her comments with the yam emoji and support for this new outlook. What are your thoughts on Young Miami's trailer for her Yams era? What do you think all of this means? Could an album be in the works? Is this more of a mindset or an approach to her music? Who will have a bigger solo year, her or JT, and why? We would like to hear what you have to say about all of this. With that in mind, be sure to leave all of your hottest takes in the comments section below.